I thought that that would have been on Now joining me on the line is former world title challenger, Ronica Jeffrey, who will be part of the Team Combat League on March 28th down in Philadelphia. Ronica, how you doing? I'm good, and you? Doing well, doing well. Long time no talk. Um, It's been five years. What have you been up to since we last saw you in the ring in 2019? Um, Working, just working and uh, visiting family, spending time, you know, regular stuff. Nothing so exciting. Was uh, this uh, just a case of fights falling through over the year? Why uh, you've been, um, uh, you haven't been active? Well, no, I mean, some of it, you know, COVID happened. Um, and I think that uh, even around like my last fight, if COVID didn't happen, uh, I think that I probably still would have been fighting within those couple of years. But I think that kind of took something out of it. Um, and I am older, so that was part of it. You know, um, money have to be made. So at that time, I was just, I just started to get real busy. And I don't know, I just made the decision that, I didn't have that like um for it again, so I just made the decision uh, not to do it, and that was that was just that. So, what, what was when was that moment where you got the desire to to come back and compete again? Well, I think that when this uh, when the TCL was presented to me, I still wasn't the, when the first season came. I still wasn't in that space. I wasn't doing anything um, when it comes to boxing and training wise. Um, but it just came to me more than one time. So I was just during the first season. So when they contacted me for the second season, like in advance, I guess right before the other season end, and they were uh, looking for people to the second season, I was just like, mm, you know what? This keeps coming up to me more and more and more, you know, from different people, not even from the same person. Um, so I just decided like, okay, well, you know, like, let me try it. To talk about the team combat leagues a little bit different than what you're used to. Uh, you're used to fight the world titles, fighting 10, three minute rounds, right. Right, 10, two minute rounds. And uh, now these are a series of fight. You'll fight a couple times in one night, one round a piece. Uh, it, to tell us about that, your thoughts on, on that concept. Um, you know, it is, it's a new concept, uh, def- definitely for sure. And uh, I think that with something new like that, it's exciting, you know, cause it's something obviously that I've never done that a lot of us have never done. So to be a part of that, you know, it's, it's an exciting feeling. So I think that's what makes me, um, a little bit more in, enthused to do it. How about, you know, uh, I guess for lack of a better word, fighting or playing for a team? This is not boxing, which is an individual sport, and it's only you and your opponent in the ring. This has now become kind of like a, a team thing as well. Right. So it kind of reminds me of when I was on the women's national team and you had a team um, and it was fun, you know. So I think that this will also be fun. It gives, you know, you get to experience these things with, um, with others so you're not by yourself. So it gives, you know, it gives for a little bit more excitement. So I think that I'm going to enjoy that part more than anything else. So uh, dating back, I guess, just back on the the five-year layoff, you probably feel pretty fresh in there going in. And it's one of those things where, like you said, the the one minute, uh, one minute, the one round fights, you're going to have a lot of energy in there come uh, March of 28th. I mean, you have to have a lot of energy. You really don't have no choice at this point um, because you have to put everything into that one round. Um, As you said, I'm used to fighting 10 rounders, so you have a lot more time to figure it out. You have a lot more time to, you know, spread whatever it is that you do have, whether if you start slow or start fast and vice vice versa. So in this one round, you just have to, you know, start fast and just end fast. So that's just going to be the challenge in it all. But, you know, it's... It's, it's fighting, so it's all good. Not only is it a team, but you're you specifically. You're a Brooklyn girl. You're gonna you know that NY. Uh, you're fighting for that the the, the famous NY New York. Uh, that, what, does that mean a little bit extra? Yes. That, that that you know, I know a lot of you fighters after uh, uh, after you win, you're like Brooklyn in the house, whatever. But you're literally now fighting <laughs> for New York. 
Well, yes. You know, one thing that New York do is represent for your people with no doubt, with no doubt. We're very proud people. So I'm very excited to be representing New York. I'm very excited to be representing Brooklyn um, and where I'm from. So, you know, this is, and, and all of us get to do it at the same time. So I'm just overly excited and I, I can't wait for the season to start. And uh, obviously, uh, is this, uh, maybe did you come back just for this or we, maybe we're going to see a wait and see how, how you feel, how you look in there? Maybe uh, when the season's over, maybe taking one more run at a world title? I mean, one step at a time. You know, I, I'm not trying to push the brush right now. I'm just here just to have fun, um, to be a part of this new organization, um, to, to be able to experience it. I don't know what's going to happen afterwards uh, or how I'm going to feel. So I'm just I'm just letting whatever happened happen. But so what were you saying? The book isn't closed, though. I know that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> don't be putting no words in my no, mouth. No, I'm saying well, the book isn't closed. No, that's all I'm saying. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying that I'm just enjoying what's going gotcha. on. Gotcha. That's what I'm saying. That's no. what I'm saying. Got gotcha. Uh, what's it like? I know you you have you fought a, a few times in Philly in the Philly area. Coming back down to Philadelphia to fight. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, that's going to be exciting too. As you know, that um, Brian Coleman is from Philly, so I spent a lot of time in Philly. Uh, being managed by him, you know, um, we, I was there so often, it's kind of like a second home to me. So it was going to be exciting to be back in Philly. It's going to be exciting to be, you know, see part people that I, that I know, and even representing for New York in Philly. So um, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. So I'm just, I'm just really excited about what's, what's about to happen. Philly fans are known for booing the opponents, but like I said, I don't think they're going to boo you. Like you said, you've been down here a lot. You're, you're, you're almost like yeah. a Philadelphia because of all the time you spent down here in South Philly. Exactly, exactly. So, you know, ho hopefully they show me love, and if they don't, you know, no love lost. I, I understand, <laughs> you know, what they have to do. But, you know, it's all part of the game at the end of the day, so it's all good. Well, I was lucky enough to broadcast a bunch of your fights. Uh, uh, I don't want to say way back when, because that means we're both old. So back, 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 <laughs> in the, back, back, back in the day, we look forward to seeing right, you. Back in the day. We, we look forward to seeing you on March the 28th, back down here at 2300 Arena, the Team Combat League, the New, the New York City Attitude. You like that name, the Attitude? I love that name because, you know, New York City has an attitude for sure. So I think that was the best name that they could have given us. Um, it represents who we are. It says a lot about who we are. And you just know that we're coming. You know, we're coming with the attitude. We're coming with the talent. And we're just coming to, you know, win again like how they did last year. Well, there you have it. Ronica Jeffrey, we thank you for a few minutes of your time. Drive safely to wherever you're going. We'll we'll see you on the thank 28th you. of March down here in Philadelphia. We'll talk to you along the way. Yes, looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you.